Today is a special day for me. It's actually my birthday. And I woke up this morning thinking, thank you God for giving me a mini resurrection. That's what he does every day. And the Bible tells us in Romans 5, we stand because of God's grace. What a beautiful picture. We stand because of God's grace. When we talk about giving and receiving, it all starts at creation. That's the time God created the world. He gave us life with all his blessings. And yes, we know the story of the fall and Adam and Eve, and, but then we come to this beautiful cross. That's the ultimate, the ultimate sacrifice of giving that we all, each one of us, can have eternal life. You know, we belong to a wonderful family with millions and millions of members around the world. 25 million in total gather around Sabbath on Sabbath day to worship the Creator. And here in Denmark, we're part of that family. And we know that a lot of the programs that we have will not be successful without the support of our membership. I'm working right now with the Danish Union on a very exciting initiative. I was here back in April attending their executive committee meeting. When I went back, I told Dr. Wiklander, you can send me to Denmark anytime because I really enjoy attending their committee. They think outside the box. They're serious about the mission of the church. They're innovative and creative in coming up with ideas to work in one, perhaps one of the most difficult environment, secular Denmark. How do you bring the gospel, the wonderful gospel of Jesus Christ, to the masses, to the people here? And yet you see initiatives, people, church members, coming up with ideas and initiatives to move this forward. I can hold in my hand here quite a few. This one, which I'm sure you have seen in your churches, the new initiative, training young people, mobilizing them to become leaders in their own community, the LIFE program. And when we think about all these initiatives and programs that we have, there is a need for resources. We need resources to make this happen. They just don't function on their own. And thanks to the generosity of our church members in Denmark over the years, you have supported all kind of mission work around the world. Now we're asking you to focus here on Denmark again and find ways to support and give in your own time, from your own resources, from your own gifts, to support these wonderful initiatives planned for you through the leadership of the Union and their pastors. I want to thank you, each one of you, for your generous support that you have supported the church over the years with various world initiatives, as well as initiatives here in Denmark. We're quite excited when we learned about this in the Trans-European Division, about this initiative of going directly to the members to raise funding for specific projects. We would like to monitor this initiative. It's thinking outside the box. And I really believe, from my heart, that you will dig deep again and support this initiative knowing that God will bless you.